Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I'm just kind of recording this episode in advance. I do have a snow day today, and I want to be spending some time with my uh, my wife this week, uh, especially on Thursday and Valentine's Day. Uh, not so much that it's Valentine's Day, but technically it's my second birthday. Um, I was adopted, and that was the day my mother brought me home from the hospital. So yeah, kudos to her. That's my second birthday. Um, and she, tell, you know, she always tells the story of... Uh, uh, coming home and getting out of the car and there was a very light snowfall and she was just so happy um, because she couldn't have children of her own at that point she had uh, um, her my parents had lost their their first baby at that point um, and she wasn't able to have kids she had problems with her um, um, her uterus and stuff so she wasn't able to have kids um, but she she ended up adopting two and I was the first one and on the way home she tells me the story of getting out of the car and it just everything being so perfect and then this snowflake just kind of drifts down and lands right on my forehead and it was so beautiful so I, I always remember that on Valentine's Day um, mom wherever you are uh, thank you so much for providing me with a wonderful life but anyway we're recording a couple of episodes in advance just so that I can spend the next couple nights with my wife and have some fun so and I got the time because you know I'm off work today so we're gonna jump right into a couple missions here but first thing we want to do I got an idea here we picked up that uh, patchwork material last episode and what I want to do is go into the assassin here because we're talking about trying out that chaff now I wasn't sure um, chaff rocket launcher 5 now it does say on it four salvos so my guess is it is it has four for, yeah, internal ammo that will explode for one damage per remaining shot. S fires a salvo of five unguided rockets. So I'm thinking it fires, it's got four um, tons of, well, four uh, turns of firing. So I want to drop that in this guy and see if we can see how that works. So let's go in um, and let's find our patchwork materials. And we're going to drop that in. Let's just put it in the head, keep it a little safer. Uh, oh, I noticed we got our head ammo, our armor down here can't have that man so let's just do yeah that and once again back armor I think is more important at this point so that's a three-day repair um, our pilots still need to come back um, and since the assassins always in close range maybe we where does this go though so that takes up oh I see what it does that's interesting. So that replaces the entire the sensors in the cockpit. Interesting. Did that say it was two slots? Did I just missed that. It says one slot. Series metals compact cockpit. Made it look like a helmet and added spikes to it. Okay, so we do lose one slot. But the injuries resist on it is more valuable, I think, at this point than anything. So we're going to confirm this guy. And since we have, well, yeah, we've got people getting in close. We have, we do have um, missile damage on this guy. I think the fire starter. Let's refit that. We've got the flamer on this guy, but let's drop in. Um, I mean, it will get moved eventually anyway. But the pirate spiked helm here. Let's put it in. Plus one injury. We're going to be in close. 35. Uh, new. Uh, oh my god. I keep looking at sea bills and thinking new yen from Shadowrun. Um, we used to play Shadowrun uh, a whole lot when I was a lot younger. Uh, the tabletop game. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, every time I see sea bills I think new yen for some reason. Alrighty. So we're going to just uh, get our guys back here. Thank you. And one more day. We don't need sunflower f for this one. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's bring her. She needs the experience. Let's just double check to make sure, see if she's got anything else here. Um, I think everybody else is pretty s good still. Uh, we don't quite have enough for another gunnery, but we will get that soon enough. Okay, command center. And let's have a look at contested will, capture base, full salvage. We're doing well this month. Um, let's accept. We made some good sea bills off that last mission. And we'll run the lance exactly the same. And why do we have a fire starter thing here? Why? Why? Oh, wait. 
I bet you it's a weight thing. ADD, guys. ADD. Got to bear with me. Uh, what is it about this guy? It's probably weight. I think I gained a ton. I did gain a ton. By putting this in, we gain a ton. Um... We did. That is really good to know. Because. Let's leave it for now on this guy. Actually, if I pull it off, it's not going to take any time, right? I'm just thinking, if this is going to save us a ton. I mean, we could add it to the Assassin instead and add another heatsink. Let's just take it off for now. Right. Uh, Thanks, man. Uh, and let's have a look. Just think, I want to see that. Why did it go into the Takeda Assassin? Misclick. All right. So, cockpit voice is plus one initiative. I don't think that's as valuable as the extra ton. Tiny bit better heat sinking, which means we can fire the medium pulse a lot more. Let's confirm that. It's only one day. And then let's add because it's so cheap. Let's add the, well, you know what? Do we have, what do we have on the Wolverine right now? It's, it's going to be even trickier to remember all of this stuff. Thinking the Wolverine could use the initiative boost. Yeah, we can drop the initiative boost on this guy. Uh, where are you? Hello? Oh, here it is. Two days. All right, that's fine. Two days I didn't want to have to spend, but I think it's for the better. Better to do it now, otherwise I'll forget. All right, let's hope we don't we take minimum damage here. I want to try and get it, have at least uh, two months worth of uh, C bills in the bank. So let's negotiate this full salvage. One seventy six thousand, not bad. Except. We should get it, some stuff for killing the turrets and that. So let's deploy everything and get it done here. Alright, here we go. Sorry, just eating some crackers here. Yeah, let's go swimming, man. Oh, I remember being on this with the last uh, Night Witches. It was so painful getting up here with the Irby, but not anymore. So I had a look at uh, Molten Metal start for uh, 998. Man, did he ever get good mechs, I'm telling you. Enforcer. Uziel. Uziel. U-Z-I-E-L. Or E-I-L. Um, the Pirate Catapult with the... Uh, uh, was it MR, or was it either MRM-17s or LRM-17s? Yeah, and here I am with a slow-ass hunchback, and, uh, I mean, the Wolverine's a good mech, don't get me wrong. Wolverine's a good mech, but that first start, Night Witch's start, man. I'm telling ya. Not having any gear at the at the beginning sucks. But, you know, campaign-wise, um, you kind of appreciate the early game a little better. You, I like the fact that Everything that you've gained, you've earned. You've spent the time to get it all. You weren't gifted anything to start. I mean, you have your starting mechs. And in some cases, you can get a, a you know, a really nice start. Like when I started uh, Funky Steve's Medinas, and I only started with three mechs, I was like, what the hell? Right? But they were three pretty good mechs overall, right? 
So, um, like the Jagermech, yeah, modern operational military base to me. Doesn't look like no any turrets, so we're good. Uh, yeah, so where was I going with that? Yeah, the Jagermech was okay, but the it had pirate Gauss rifles on it, which, you know, already you're not getting a bonus on a Jagermech. Uh, for weapons in the arms, and then they're, the Gauss rifles were minus one to hit. So me actually hitting with those things was really hard. I had an assassin, which was pretty good. And I can't remember what my third mech was now. you think I'd be able to remember that, but started off with three mechs, and I remember the first battle, we, uh, we fought 12 guys and came out on top, which was good. Um, but definitely, you know, st like starting off with a Vindicator, like a basic Vindicator, Starting off with, actually, we don't want you up there. We want you uh, over here. Um, the basic Vindicator, you know, that PPC is never going to hit pretty much. Smart. Starting off with an inferior Centurion. Yeah, I should have stripped the Irby and put stuff on that guy. That's my bad. Um, you're the fastest, so let's get up here. But uh, yeah, we had a difficult time to start. It really depends on the role you get with your starting mechs. Um, I don't like generally um, starting off with things that are too heavy. Um, I like that that first, like the, the, the point where we're at now, where it's like that first struggle to obtain anything, right? It's kind of fun to me. We're going to just back. Actually, you know what? Do I want to be on these guys right at the start? I think we do. I want to be on top of these guys pretty much as soon as they spawn in and see if we can get some lucky kills off them. We're going to have our speed, our chevrons up, sprint up here. Uh, let's go right to... See, now that's inside. There's been a few times when I've done this and it hasn't counted. So I'm going to do that and see if it works. Stand right on that building. Because I can. So apparently there's going to be an urban combat um, coming up for Battletech, which I think they really, really need. Um, I was kind of hoping of having some kind of urban contact, or contact, uh, urban um, combat, but when the first Battletech came out. But, uh, you know, once again, if you play the tabletop game, it took them a while to... Uh, okay, so they're not going to be seen for a turn. It took them a while to... Um, now what do I want to do here? I know we just moved up, but I think we have to move back. Embrace. I don't know what our initiative is going to be like this next turn. Um, it took them a while for the tabletop version to get uh -huh. uh, uh, city combat out too, so... It's mostly the rules, I think. It's like, you got to figure out how tall the buildings are, the how tough the buildings are. You know, are they going to withstand um, like mechs being able to walk through them, right? Or even, like for that matter, shoot through them. Like, if you're in a city, if you think about it, then you're like, you, there's like an office building between you and the other guy, and you know he's over there. You could technically shoot, like stick your arm in through the windows and shoot through the other side, because the inside walls are not like hardened concrete most of the time, right? So... It really makes you think about what you need to be doing. I mean, they didn't have all those rules in the tabletop version. I don't expect them to have them in this version, but it'd be kind of nice if they had some pretty cool rules like that. I know in War Thunder, if you've ever played War Thunder, there are certain bu buildings you can shoot through, like wooden buildings. You should just blow, be able to blow straight through them, right? So, all right. Uh, we're going to have some testiculars, and we are going to move in. I want to see what we're up against here. So uh, let's get on them. Okay, so we got a spider with low armor, locust with low armor, hunchback, 1G. Is that? I can't remember now what version that. Oh, that's the old version. It's got the two rifles. And this guy, if we remember from last time, it's two lasers, most likely two rocket launchers, and then two um, missile launchers. So let's multi target this. I want to shoot. This guy is the easiest to hit. And then B. I want to shoot the chaff at B. Wow, well, my god, really? Really? 
All right, let's shoot the chaff and see then. <laughs> and firing. I guess it kind of means if it's that hard for us to hit them, it could hopefully be that hard for them to hit us, maybe? Maybe? Nope. Negative damage. But we will know next turn Negative if that four shots means that we get four turns of firing. Most likely it does. I can't see it not. Okay, standard spider. Ace pilot, if I was you, I'd jump back here. Nope, you're gonna walk. Alright, that's, yeah. Good to go. Sure, man. Can we get on that? We can. can. Get on the crunch back, but I don't know. It's such a bad chance to hit. Yeah, let's. Uh, sorry. What can I do for you? Too many button pushes. Let's get over here. Damn it! Let's get this. Uh, I was just about to call him a dagger, the locust. Let's get the locust. Be Best good. chance to hit. Well, at least we hit them with, with the medium laser. That's all right. Uh huh. You do know we have a hunchback back there, right? Because of your sensors, you should know that. Oh, he's a real opponent. Don't don't ever question whether they're real opponents or not. That's when to get you killed. They are real opponents. Every last one of them. All it takes is a headshot. That can happen to anybody. Okay, the best chances are to kill this jerky jerk wannabe right here. Let's fire everything at this guy. God, those SRMs are like using ATMs now. Okay, so we got him gone now. The difference in firepower, man. This Wolverine. Oh my god. Thank god we got a good mech to start with. I mean, that Hellspawn or Hell, whatever it was that we had last time. Hellspawn, I think it was. Was okay, but it... It overheated so much. Oh, well, large laser coming through this time. Critical hit, Commander. With its need for double heat sinks and stuff. Yeah. Nice try. I'm glad whoever it was uh, that was coding figured out what that lag was in those base destruction missions. From what I understand, that problem is solved now. Because that was just painful. Okay, uh, we know the threat now is this guy. And we all know from my lessons in the past that Huntsbacks have, like, no back armor. Slow with no back armor makes them particularly susceptible to light, light mechs. Like that. And, you know, of course, having lighter armor also helps, but still. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Fighting everything. Got a feeling we got some crits there. That hit something good. Going down. I think that said heavy rifle destroyed. I think I missed that part. Oh, it's damaged anyway, not destroyed, but it's damaged. Yeah, you're making a break for it. I don't blame you. Wait, are you not going to finish off the Hunchback? No. No, I'm not. Not with this guy. Um, we're starting on our next target. Okay, Miss Flowers. Alright, let's 
try for a headshot. I don't think we'll get it, but we're going to do it. Oh, yes. There you go. Pilot lethal damage. I meant to do that, by the way. I was totally meant, meant to do that. Yeah, you get them lucky shots every once in a while. Makes the, makes the game worth it. Like taking the king crab's head off that we did a little while back. I think it was in Cold Forge. That was awesome. Um, I think that was the ep that was the ep that was the episode we got a king crab too. Um, that was just beautiful. Now we do have Jenner parts. How many more parts do I want? Um, well, if we can pick up Max, it's okay. definitely money. Sea no bills. Let's uh, do this. So the chaff, we fired twice now. So this will be the third time, I think. Maybe we could take the leg off this guy. Waiting for orders. Yeah, I'm going to come around. And dump everything into him. And fire. Commencing alpha strike. Probably take that leg now. Right torso, right arm. Another hit like that and you're toast. Look at the speed on this guy. He's a mech killer. Surprise. That locust is probably dropping a load in his pants right now. Why you gotta kill me, man? I was just running away. Goodbye. Sucks to be you. Side shot, please. And uh, let's leave the AC off and fire the rest. That's torso destruction, I think. No? Oh. He's taking a lot of punishment, that guy. Um, I'm here. See if we can knock his ass over. Ah, uh, come on, really? He's almost dead. Let's just finish him up, I guess. Yeah, very disappointing, but whatever. We might get some parts, we might not. It's really the hunchback parts we want more than anything, anyway, so. There it is, folks. Time to start moving up to to uh, one and a half skull missions, I think. So far, we're really lucky. Uh, 140,000, nice. We should be able to pull off another mission before the end of the month. Some good experience. And look at that. We should get lots of Hunchback parts here. That's really going to bonus us up for Hunchback in the future. Uh, do we want the core? Probably. Um, yeah, crappy ammo. So let's grab the core. Um... What is worth the most here? 150,000. 100. 90. I mean, do we grab five shots for heavy rifle ammo? This should be eight shots, right? Eight shots. What does the medium rifle do damage wise? I know it's really crappy to hit, though. 45. Let's go for money. Uh, that guy. Can always buy serum ammo. Um, let's grab the SRMs. Well, I don't know. It's a tough choice. Do I take crap or do I take crap? Well, this is worth 100,000, which means we'll get 13,000 for selling it. But we might get 
0.25 tons. I don't know. Let's take an SRM6, why not? Okay, one, two, three, four hunchback pieces, man. Jenner parts. We got six parts of a hunch parts of a hunchback, five parts of a Jenner. That's actually unusual for early in my uh, series. How to be so close. Actually, I remember when we had uh, five parts of a uh, catapult, or sorry, seven parts of a catapult for the longest time. Oh man, Rogue Tech Cold Forge. We're trying to get that that uh, catapult forever. The one A or the A one catapult. We had seven parts for like I don't know, like twenty episodes maybe. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we just encountered so many of those catapults early on, and then we just didn't encounter any again, like for the longest time. All right, so that's like three three grand, two days for the pair. I don't know if we can do that, man. It's too much. Too much. <laughs> you know, it's bad when it takes longer for the pilots to come back than it does the uh, the mechs. Um. All right, well, let's get these guys back. Ah, uh, really? Apex, come on. Still in med supplies, eh? Uh, sorry, but can't we cannot forgive that, especially when we have so little to start with. we got to re revoke her shore leave privileges and garnish her wages. Sorry, girl, you're not like Pylon, you know? Pylon did it because he was completely shell-shocked. You have not been shell-shocked yet. You don't know what shell-shocked is. You can talk to Pylon from Cold Forge. He'll tell you what shell shock's all about. Uh, yeah, let's get Sunflower back. We can't pull another mission off anyway before the end of the month. So uh, let's look at our barracks, see how we're doing here. Sunflower's probably capable of getting some more points. Ooh. Initiative. Heat generation. I think we wait for gunnery probably. Uh, Apex. Got to bench you for today, girl. Sorry. Spent the uh, sunflower. Okay, let's get some firepower up here. Okay, cool. Um, command center. Let's go. Contracts. Now. Now, I think really the only thing we've got really is lost supplies. I mean, we could do this, but one out of six salvage. I mean, a half skull mission, maybe. One and a half skull. It's going to be a tough fight. There might be two lances. We're taking damage to get w possibility of one good part, really. Uh, at this point, I don't think it's worth it. So let's go lost supplies. And we're going to go full salvage on this one. We've almost got one full or two full months worth of uh, sea bills. So let's take this one. And deploy. Yeah, Apex, you're going to stay. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's because she's not in the battle now. Maybe she's tired. Maybe she's upset because she got benched. I don't know. But uh, let's deploy this lance and get it done. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, I remember this map. Okay, so they're coming right towards us. So from what I remember, most of them come through here. I think there's a couple of lance mates down here. But it's basically setting up a... Uh, a kill zone as they come through here which shouldn't be too much of a problem for us so let's move up unless the vehicles are really heavy we should do well here last time I played on this map we had problem with weapons fire sound so let's see if that's still going on Good to go. All right. Okay, vehicles moving. So, reputation-wise, I had a check before we landed here. Uh, we're at 9 out of 19 right now. We're still at indifferent. So, we are making our way up to uh, getting House Korea to like us so that we can actually get some better prices in the stores. Not that we need much from the store, but occasionally, I mean, you do get some good stuff there. Like ferrofibrous armor if you need it. Uh, maybe a double heat sink kit or the odd bits and pieces here or there that we can pick up. There might be some rare stuff. It'd be nice to be start getting the, start getting TTSs and stuff. Let's move. 
Definitely need the definitely need those for this uh, hunchback. Enemy detected. Yeah, I barely detect them. Come on, guys, give me some sensor locks here or sensors. I Not yet, eh? Um, it's bad that we have to move the flame bot first, but let's do that. Okay, there's a mech. Let's see what we got here. Panther 8Z, so it's the old version with the large laser minus from what I remember. Locust 3V, which we just faced. Heavy wheeled APC SRM. Heavy wheeled APC SRM. Well, let's start targeting that lead vehicle. Nice. That looks like two hits out of five. They got significant armor, it looks like. Not enough to withstand us, though, I don't think. All right, we can spot both these guys now. Hopefully we have a good chance of detecting what they've got. Two ballistic, this guy's taken... Yeah, not bad. I think we fire on this guy, though. 330, 65 on the sides, 100 in the front. Maybe we hit the sides, let's just fire and find out. Spread it around. Okay, another vehicle moving back there. There it is. Armored mobile HQ. Machine guns, probably. No? I like not being able to predict what the loadouts are. I mean, I haven't memorized all the... Uh, Mech's model numbers in it. Why can't... Oh, this is individual pilots. Oh, that's interesting. We're not sharing information with the whole Lance, I see. Uh, I'm going to leave the machine guns off just to save heat, but we're going to fire the rest. Right. Oh, one hit. Nice. So they don't have very far to go here. We'll find out shortly how fast they are. They're heading straight into Hunchback fire. Oh, you're going to melee, are you? You obviously don't know about the Hunchback behind you. Obviously does not know that we're here. And that's okay. Not for him, but for us. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't think you really care then. We might get lucky. Let's fire. Like that. Maybe we just take the auto cannon off and put eight, like, large lasers in both arms and heat sinks. That's another option. Because the large lasers do have plus one to hit. We can put them in the arms, which is another plus one to hit. The AC-5 is doing 45 damage, but it's got recoil, so you, got, you can't use it all the time. The only advantage is it's got only six heat, right? I remember the, well, the Hunchback that we are running, I believe it's, oh my god, I can't even remember, Funky Steve's Medina's with the, the PP, PPC double pluses on each arm. That's a high puncher, I, I'd like that mech. 10 ton wheel DPC. Yep. I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, Ronin. Um... God, that's such terrible chances to hit. I know we do double damage if we step, but... Well, melee... 60-something in a direct... Uh, I have no idea... Armor-wise, what these guys have left. I don't want to turn my back to the... Panther. So let's go this route. Okay. Probably stepped on the front because we're attacking it from the side. Yep. Attack from the front, hit the side. Attack from the side, hit the front. So this guy's just got a medium laser, but he's got lots of armor. This guy's got no armor and a machine gun. Okay, so... Waiting on you, Commander. Is 
Is that a chance for a kill? Most likely not. Let's get into here. You betcha. Yeah, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Good hits. Okay, we got him. Now, we got heavy weight with this guy. Gonna do 80 something damage. Have no idea how much armor this guy's got. Could left side hit this guy. Hopefully. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a step on this side. We might get lucky and squash him here. Come on, do it. Nice. Okay, so this mobile HQ we gotta worry about. He's got the most armor right now. It's like 125 on the sides or something like that. But we're not that worried about it. We got a uh, hunchback back here still. Okay, we got a spider. What is up with the melee, man? I guess because it's really the best chance for them to hit. What's this guy? Commando. Well, no real parts that we need. Pew! I think we just all move and put a wall in front of this guy so we can't go anywhere. This 10 ton vehicle should die. So I think later today I'll check in on the uh, Rogue Tech, see if they've got an update. No, there was a few bugs they were working on. Backstabber! Wait, I, I'm one to talk. Order. On the move. Okay, this guy's been damaged, so we're gonna go after him. Nice shooting. That's it, I'm putting two large lasers in this thing. One on each arm. I'm convinced that's the way to go. Wow, I hit with all four. Spider, what are you doing, buddy? We should go be, be going before him, though. Isn't this 18? A locust. Isn't this guy missing a torso? Yeah, it's focus damage. I'm thinking that's better than anything. If we splash it too much. 94. So now we've got an opening to, to hit it with everything else. So that's the front. So hopefully the uh, hunchback can finish this guy up with some shots to the front. Now Ronan's got pretty good melee damage as well. Let's get on this 10 tonner. And this way, we don't want to turn our back to that panther. Okay. We might be able to finish this guy off with the, with the flamer unit here. So it looks like there's spiders going next. You milling again? Really? Nope. At least they're making the attempt to defend these vehicles. For Except for that panther and that commander, they're just hiding. Um, look at the speed. Moving fast. It's just so nice having these fast mechs. Alright, everything in the front of this guy. This be good. Four hits. Does that do it? No. We got the sides, I bet you. Three hits on the side and one on the front. Really? Sure, man. Whatever. Whatever. 
Whatevs, Kev. Let's just move into here. And do this, and turn this off. And maybe we got lucky. Yeah, see, now I said I want to put large lasers in this thing. We're going to miss with them all the time. But you know what? We got some pretty low percentage hits there for a while, so... Can't complain. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for showing up. course. I'll let the hunchback step on him this time. Um, ah, she's actually going at a half decent speed too. Got flamers first. I think we're going to go visit that panther. Comes the locust. Uh, let's go visit the panther. He needs a little bit of loving. What's up, McLovin? Here it comes. Okay, two flamer hits. Not bad. Heat him up a little bit. So Sunflower goes next. We'll have a good idea if we need to follow up with anybody else on this HQ. Spiders fleeing the interview. Waiting for orders. You gotta cool off anyway, girl. So let's... Whoa, what happened there? Target, step, front, attack, kill. Targeting for physical attack. attack, destroy. Oh, are you kidding me? 85% chance? No joy. Yeah, no kidding. No joy, no kidding. And he's gonna move! Shit! You better not have cost us this mission. Uh, Ronin first. You're faster. Uh, can we hit the guy from there? It's a side attack. Well, take what we can get. Hopefully we finish him up. If we don't, well, then we need to bring in Baba Yaga. That might do it. Looks like it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Reporting critical hit. Damn it. Well, we delay killing the mechs. That's fine. Fine, fine. That's pretty much going to give them my backside. That's better. A little bit more protected. Uh, pretty well protected, actually. Nice. Firing everything because we can't afford not to. Oh, come on. Thank you. You don't need to come in hot. These guys will be dead shortly. All right, Spanthia. Bar B Q. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Okay. Spider, make an attempt to come back. You'd think as pirates, they would just run at this point. And I guess you could you could make the argument that it's like, well, if they run, you know, and they get back to their pirate base, the pirate boss is going to be angry and kill them. It's like, well, no, they would just run and take their mech and try and get off the planet. Like, what's the point? If you, the boss is just going to kill you, you might as well make an attempt to get off, get away from here. Uh, why are we running so heat efficient all of a sudden? 
because I'm not paying attention, that's why. I gotta smarten up. I took the medium pulse laser off, that's why. Commander? It's the hallucinatory vegetation. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, we're gonna shoot this guy again. Everything. I just transferred all my heat to this guy, that's what I did. Chaff cloud, blinding flare, sensor scramble. You know, so that weapon actually is isn't that bad overall. Now that you think I now that I'm thinking about it, it's like that's kinda worth having. Especially on a lighter mech like this, it's like, you know. Uh, what am I going to do here? Let's just back up. Copy that. Better chance to hit from the side, that's why I'm doing it. Get the AC back on, fire everything. I mean, if you just save that for your troublesome max, the stuff with big ACs and, you know, PPCs and stuff, so that the chance of them landing those are even more remote. That chaff at 0.25 tons, it's, you know, it's four shots, so why not? I like how they've added all these little kinds of things like that in the game. Definitely makes having some of them worthwhile. Especially if you got the hard points and the way they've they've worked with the engines now and the e-cooling in the center torso, you can save a lot lots of spaces on heatsink by putting the e-cooling slots in. It still adds the same weight, but you know, now you've got the slots in the body for other stuff. Rolling in. Spider strike. Kill. Uh, yeah, Chaff saves the day again. Nice. <laughs> He's going down. Armor destroyed. We've been destroying armor all day. All right, Babs, let's um, let's get rid of this panther. He's really annoying. Fire everything on the side. We can get rid of this large laser. I'll be happy. Nope. But we got some Korean barbecue coming soon here, so. If you guys have never been to a Korean barbecue, go. They're not, they're it's great. Cooking the food in the plate in front of you, it's awesome. Okay, sunflower. That uh, locust is being an asshole. Can you take care of him for me? I don't even know if you can take care of them. Let's try. Yep. Hunchback needs some love. I'm telling you. Commando's finally making his way into the battle. Thanks for showing up, buddy. What the hell was that? I'm taking internal damage. Did that say 123 damage? Uh, that said 123 damage. That said 123 damage, man. What the hell does this guy have? We need to take care of this problem now. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. That guy's got to go.
No, you're getting outflanked. It's not hitting you, so don't worry about it. We gotta kill this commando. Um. Fuck me. Let's hope we can hit this guy. Okay, good chances. Back armor is like what? Ah, crappy, so let's hope for the best here. That looks pretty good to me, but we'll find out in a second here. How is he still standing? <laughs> oh. It just really... He hit you, so death by machine gun. I gotta find what that guy had on him. I don't know how a commander does 123 melee damage. Honestly, I don't. I call him bullshiz on that one, but we'll find out. 123 damage. Wow, those were lousy hits. Take the heat, but... We're not even going to move because we got better chances to hit by not moving. Okay, good. Nice shooting. Then there was two. Man, that commando. The hell was that? I'll take your machine guns and raise you a pair of SRMs. Um, uh, little panther barbecue, please. Coordinates received. Thank you. Take this. Can't take the heat. Don't be near a fire starter. That was really bad, but I'm sticking with that kind of bad saying. Let's finish this guy up too. His back armor is fresh, but I don't care. Okay, there goes the leg. It's going down. Panic level critical! Goodbye. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, so a couple of really good one skull missions. Contract payment increased by 25%. We're going to be spending a fair bit on repairs here, I think. This would head down to six. I wonder what that, I don't know what that commando had in him, but that was a lot of damage. Uh, is there anything here from him? Machine gun array would be nice. Four times 16? Times 16, really. 16 shots. Fuck yeah. 240 ton core. I'm going to drop that for now. Even at 130. Um. Uh, patchwork materials are nice. Tracer ammo. Uh, do I want the plus one to hit? Or do I want extra weight? I know it seems silly, but... Ammo is, seems to be tricky to find, so I'm going to take it when I can get it. The 240 core I'm taking because uh, we may want to downgrade some engines or upgrade the uh, Hunchback's engine at some point. And that's kind of a nice mid-range engine. I like the, the uh, 250s and 260s better, but 240 is close enough. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. I don't even know what that... There's nothing here that that commando could have had that gave him so much melee damage. I, I can't, it wasn't an ammo explosion because there was no ammo in that torso. 
So I have no idea what the hell happened. Three spider parts, okay. Some more machine guns. Another engine to sell. A regular machine gun ammo. Okay, so not bad overall. This machine gun array, I'm interested to see what we can do with this. Doesn't say it's got jam or anything on it, so... So that's four machine guns strapped together. The benefit of this is that if you've only got one ballistic slot, it's basically four machine guns. That's the huge benefit. Heat's 22. A little more than normal, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. 20,000. Uh, I don't know what to think of that. That's not too bad. It's mostly on the uh, assassin, though. Let's manage our tasks here. Uh, I want to get the hunchback earlier. So if we're going to do it, let's do it this way and get these guys back earlier. You know what? I'm wondering if that cicada is now ready for like full machine gun arrays and speed. Yeah, that's a possibility. I'm going to end the episode here though, guys. Uh, that's two missions, two one skull missions. Let's have a look quickly uh, before we do leave. All right, we, we already have a look at the contracts. There's nothing really in the contracts we want to take here. So the beginning of the next episode, what I'll do, because I want to do, I want I do want to refit some mechs here. So um, we're going to jump planets at the beginning of the next episode. And then what we'll do is we're going to refit the Hunchback and we're going to refit the Cicada, I think. Um, Because it might be a good alternate for the Assassin, depending on what we want to do. The Assassin's running hot right now, um, but the Cicada might not. Thinking about it, this... If we put... Uh, well, we'll see. Um, all right, we're going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you got any suggestions based on what we've got now uh, for mech loadouts, drop it in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm pre-recording a couple of these ahead of time because the next couple nights I'm going to be spending with my wife. Um, so yeah, and I got the time to do that. So I'm going to do that. Um, so if you, if you have any comments, drop it in the comment section down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel, feel free to subscribe. I do, uh, put up a couple of episodes every day and until next time, we'll see you later.